Longtime Detroit Lions color commentator Jim Brandstetter let go after more than three decades with the team. He took to social media today to deliver the news. The lion in this picture, he says, is no more metaphorically. Anyway, I've just been terminated from Lions Radio Broadcasts by WJR. I had a great run of 31 years. So many thanks to all of you who listened and spent Sundays with us. Best job ever. Thanks to all of you. Former Detroit Lions offensive tackle Lomas Brown will replace Brandstatter in the booth. He played for the Lions for 11 of his 18 NFL seasons. Justin Rose is live at Ford Field with how fans are reacting, but we begin our big story coverage with Brad Galley. And Brad, you talk to Jim Brandstetter. What is he saying? Jim Brandstetter is in the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. He's in the Michigan Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame. He's been recognized nationally twice as the broadcaster of the year in our state. And today, his radio bosses at WJR told him his time in the Lions booth is over. We talked on the phone about his initial shock. He did not see this coming. The silver lining he's trying to find in it all. And his view towards the Lions after today's shocking news. Well, I'm disappointed and think I could still do the job as well as anybody out there. Uh, I'm, you know, good things come to an end, and uh, this one came to an end. Jim Brandstander has seen it all in the Lions radio booth, yet after 31 years, he told WXYZ this afternoon, his work as the color analyst for the team's broadcast ended with one brief phone call. What was the conversation like? Was it a memo? Was it an email? <laughs> there wasn't much of a conversation. Uh, I thought we were going to redo the final three years of the contract, and uh, they told me that they were going to go in a different direction. WJR did. And I said, do you mean I'm terminated? I mean, like, you're firing me? Like, I'm not going to do the Goliath games anymore? You know, I was kind of working in my mind. Is this really happening? And they said, yeah, that's where we're going. And I said, well, thank you very much and hung up. Despite the stunning news, Jim will remain in Michigan's booth this fall, working as the play-by-play -play man for U of M football. And like he always does and has always had to do, he's finding the good in all of the bad. Right off the top it was tough, but uh, after a while I figured, you know, I've had 31 years doing this and that's a great run. Look, we did an 0-16 season. We always gave it our best shot, no matter what the circumstance. And I still am a Lions fan and I still hope, have great hope, that someday they're going to be in the Super Bowl. And I hope I'm alive to see it. Because I would, I would literally, Brad, be there and enjoy it and revel in it just as much as every Detroit Lion fan out there that has been rooting for this team for the last 50 years. The dust had barely settled on the news and when Jim and I talked on the phone and yet there he was finding the silver lining in it all. He told me with Robbie Timmons, his wife and our longtime anchor and friend here at Channel 7 next to him saying, we have holidays now. We have Thanksgiving. I get to eat Thanksgiving dinner now for the first time in 35 years. How about that, Brad? Pretty important stuff from him in that booth. So, such a big legacy. Seven Action Sports reporter Justin Rose is live outside Ford Field tonight with how fans are reacting to the news. Justin? Yeah, Brad, fans are reacting quite like Jim did. Disappointed, shocked, kind of, where did this even come from? A lot of showing their dismay on different platforms of social media, but it all sparked, start with one tweet that Jim sent earlier today. When the news broke, it was Brandstatter himself who took to Twitter to let his followers know what had happened. He thanked the fans for their support, but that's when the fans fired back. People from all over took to social media to express their dismay. Many of them know that Lions broadcasts will never be the same. Yet noticing his professionalism never wavered. And Robert even went as far to compare him to the legendary Ernie Harwell, prompting him to ask what fans could do to help. I even found a few threads like the one Steven Glansberg wrote, the story of how Brandstatter enhanced the game day experience, and many more posts that echoed how this ended. A thank you. Some fans I spoke with today at Campus Martius unhappy as well. Man, yeah, I'll be heartbroken. I'll be devastated, like, like the amount of loyalty that I gave to this team, because you know how sports fans are. Loyalty is a big thing, so yeah, I'll be kind of messed up. To understand why he might consider it bad, it could be definitely heartbreaking, like my friends say, after you give so much loyalty to a certain team for so much time, you know, as I have as a fan. But then also as a fan, maybe a change is good. Um, maybe a good change in the right direction, however that might be, might be a great thing. And the change is Lomas Brown, former Lion himself, big fan of Detroit and the people here. And it should be an interesting transition to see Lomas Step into the booth for Brandstetter, but no one, and I mean nobody, will quite replace him. Reporting live downtown, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports.